Hello whoever you may be, I am Charlie. In this video you'll learn how to not punch like a As always Panda will be the one demonstrating and I'll provide the information. I'm positive we all have that irrational fear that our punches are not hard hitting or as strong as we think. Panda has that fear and they strike much harder than they need to. I have extremely strong phantom sense. When people touch me I fall asleep. While certainly having a strong build and physique helps it's all about the technique, what you hit with, and where. Despite the style, Taekwondo, specifically Junri Taekwondo or what these three like to call it, Texan Taekwondo. They use a lot of their hands almost like kickboxing. Unlike the other styles where there's a heavy focus on feet and leg technique, Panda's style features a lot of hand work a few of which we will be going over. Before you can go out and punch scuba, you'll need to know how to make a proper fist. You will be surprised how many people don't know how to make a fist and accidentally get hurt because of it. Start by curling your fingers at the second knuckles, of course Panda can't show it but they're doing it too. Now curl at the first knuckles and rest your thumbs on top of it. Keep it tight leaving no gaps, and remember protect the baby. Front punch. Start at guard stance, you remember how to do that right? The leading hand will be punching, bring your shoulder slightly up, punch straight out and make contact with the first two knuckles on your hands. Keep wrist and elbow straight when you make contact and retract. Always protect the baby, in other words keep your hands on your chin when they're not being used. When you punch make sure to use the first two knuckles on your hand. A common mistake is doing what's called door knockers, that happens when either your wrist or elbow isn't straight. I understand this can be hard for some people but bear with it. Back punch. Once again start at guard stance, when you punch, instead of using the leading hand, you'll instead use the back hand, who would have thought. So from guard stance you'll transition into twist stance. If any of this does not make any sense, go watch this video it will help like a lot. Now like the front punch you'll do the same thing but with your back hand. Lift shoulder slightly up, punch straight out and make contact with your first two knuckles then retract. Remember when you do the back punch the power mainly comes from the foot that does the twisting motion. So when you do twist for the punch ensure you're also twisting your foot too. That's why in MMA or boxing a lot of knockouts happen with a back punch. Oh, big oh, He's out, he down. Brilliant performance, stand out, eye-catching Again, on oh, the bike, big out! Left A common mistake is again, the door knocker but another big one is not fully turning. An easy fix is simply working on the twist stance ensuring you are replacing your shoulders. Chop block. The most basic but effective block there is across every style of martial arts, the chop block. You'll start by doing what's called a fold. Start at attention, take one hand cross it over and touch your hip. The other hand cross over and touches your neck. The hand that's touching your neck is the hand that will block, keep that in mind when we do this next step. This is all done in a single step but I will break it down for the sake of understanding and simplicity. Step 1, step out. Step 2, bottom hand protects the baby. Step 3, block. When you block, do not straight arm, instead bend arm at 45 asterisk as this ensure maximum coverage. Keep wrists straight, and keep your thumb tucked in. Once you got the hang of this you can put all this together for one strong and swift motion. Remember to treat the block as a strike, a very common mistake everybody does is having incredibly weak block. Keep it strong and when you block you're striking back. Scuba if you're watching this run.